Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're gonna do this nice, springy, bright, pastel look. I woke up today and I was like, I wanna do a lilac eyeshadow look. <laughs> and boy, I tried this morning and it was not working for me. The only lilac shadow I have in my collection is from this Shea Moisture Palette right here. This thing sucks. I do not recommend using it. It's mineral eyeshadow, so I just don't think mineral eyeshadows like are as pigmented typically but that's all i had so i'm working with it in this tutorial but please go and get yourself a different lilac eyeshadow or let me know how you use this palette i tried it wet i tried it dry i tried spraying my face with fix plus i tried it with concealer i tried it with base i think i tried every way but the good thing is i was able to come up with a separate look which is this look right here so this is a very, very simple look. I'm using blush as my eyeshadow. I use a base, but it's not necessary. So I'm using blush as my shadow. I threw a crease color in there, but you don't even need to. You can just take your contour color or your bronzer, throw that in there, and you're ready to go. When I say this is an easy look, it is an easy look. I know not every boy and girl has an hour and a half to get ready every day, but sometimes they wanna do something that's like, wow, your makeup looks different and it looks good today, but still not like super crazy. I feel like a lot of my looks lately have been a little bit more intense than what I typically do. So I came up with this and I'm absolutely loving it. So I'm super excited to share this one with you today. It is springtime, it is finally warm in Chicago, and I am feeling inspired. So we're gonna go ahead and get into it. All the rest of my makeup details clothes, jewelry, hair details are gonna be in the description bar. I always list things down there. I'm not going through like my foundation, blush, bronzer, lip, or anything like that, but I promise I will list it all below. And by the way, you can probably tell this is not a false lashes look. I feel like I've worn false lashes in like all of my videos. So I'm gonna stop talking now. Let's go ahead and get into the video. All right, so the first thing we're gonna go in with is the NYX Lid Lingerie. This is in the color Dynamic. It's just kind of a matte pink on the cool side. I really like this color. It reminds me of like a bunch of lip colors that are super popular at this point in time. So I'm gonna start with the doe foot and then I'm gonna move into like a brush if I need to. It just depends. It's really hard to get into my inner corner. So I'm gonna tilt my head back a little bit as I do this because I don't wanna raise my forehead too much. And since I do have hooded eyes, I raise my eyebrows like a ton. So it's gonna get on my eyelashes, but sorry, I'm obviously not square. I'm gonna just start to kind of work it only where my mobile lid is. So my normal crease is right there. Typically I take my like crease color into this area up here, which we'll do in a little bit, but I just wanna lay this down first. So it's super simple. This stuff glides right on. I'm sure there's tons of alternatives, but I really like this stuff and I totally forgot how much I liked them and I rediscovered them. So we're gonna do that and I'm not gonna blink. Well, I just blinked, but I'm gonna try to blink downwards because if I look up, it's gonna take that color and transfer it up onto my hood. So I'm just gonna take this Morphe M433 brush and I'm gonna kinda first just kinda dab over and then work it up a little bit while blending out the edges. Let me scoot in a little bit for you guys. And we just want a sheer wash of color. We are not going for anything intense. We're really going for a nice, just kind of wash of pink on the lid and then a wash of purple under the lid. Very springy, summery light look. I don't want anything too crazy. I feel like my past few looks have been a little more intense. Maybe not intense for some people, but certainly intense for me. So I've just been kind of enjoying going with like a sheer wash of color. And do you see how nice these blend out? Like not sticky at all. And then they set down. So right now it's like I'm working with a shadow, just kind of working it up into my crease area. I love this stuff. So pretty. So before we keep going. I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush that I have 
from LA Girl. This is the LA Girl 202 Big Fluffy Brush. So you can see the difference between the Morphe M43 and the LA Girl. This one's a lot bigger. And you can dip into whatever transition color you like. I'm just going to dip into, let's see. I'm going to take my blood sugar palette because it's in front of me and I really like it. And I'm going to dip into cake mix. Yeah, I'm definitely going to dip into cake mix right here. So I'm just going to kind of start to build out my like crease area i again don't want this to be too heavy so like you, i've talked about in all my videos i just kind of bend my head back and where my orbital bone naturally kind of dips in is where i'm going to apply the product so i don't know if you can see it on camera but it's actually darker right here where my orbital bone is and that's where i want to kind of deepen the color like i did over here so i naturally have a shadow there now everybody has a different kind of hooded eye your hooded eyes might not be like mine i have very puffy hooded eyes so yours might not have this kind of like guide where there's a shadow but just play around feel for your orbital bone you're pretty safe if you start to apply color where your orbital bone is that's pretty safe to kind of deepen that area. And again, I really don't want to add too much color. Like I think I added a little too much on the outside there. So I'm just going to take this brush right here and kind of work some of that out. Yeah, because I don't want this to be a heavy look. I want this to be a really nice pastel springy look. So I'm just kind of taking that right to where my nose contours because I kind of like how that looks. It makes my eyes look a little more defined. And I'm just adding slight a slight definition right there. So then we're gonna go into this Makeup Revolution blush palette. I love using blush as eyeshadows. Obviously do your research. If a blush irritates you on your eyes, don't use it. But I have worn blushes on my eyes for a long time. And I love it. In fact, I always put a blush color into my crease just to tie everything in. So this is the Makeup Revolution blush, blush palette in Goddess. And I'm going to go in with this color right here. I love this palette. These highlights are so nice. Like this is what I have on my lips right now and on the tip of my nose. So reflective, so beautiful. They just came out with a new palette. They're like collaborating with somebody. I can't remember who it is. I can't remember who it is, <laughs> but they are supposed to be absolutely beautiful. So something to think about. So I'm going to take that Morphe M33, dip into that pink shade and just work that right over where I put that base from NYX. You could totally just leave it at where the base was if you wanted an even more sheer wash of color, but the reason I'm using a Morphe fluffy brush is because I don't want to pack color onto my lid. Sorry, the camera's shaking. I have this whole weird new setup that I'm trying to get used to, but I don't want to apply too much shadow. And when you use more of a fluffy brush, you don't pack the shadow on as heavy, which is why I'm doing that. I'm also holding my brush at the end. This is something that you kind of learn when you're a makeup artist, holding your brush at the end. You don't apply as like heavy pressure obviously because it's a lot more wiggly than if you were holding it like a pencil where you have a full grip so something to think about so I'm just kind of doing that and working that all onto my crease up to where I applied that transition color and then once most of the color is off I'm just kind of like going right under I love how this looks Ugh. I've been loving pastel pinks and pastel purples. I tried to do an all pastel purple look earlier today. We're gonna use the palette I was using, but this is definitely not a palette I would recommend picking up. Unfortunately, it's the only lilac color I have. This is the, oops, it's spilling all over me, which is cool. Shea Moisture, I got this at Ulta, and they're like mineral eyeshadows. Looks like this, I hate this palette. I would not recommend it, but it's the only lilac shade I have and that's what I wanna use under my eyes. So speaking of that, let's go ahead and get started. So I'm just gonna take a pencil brush and actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take first that Morphe brush once again, still with that pink color. Switch to my mirror here and I'm gonna start to just work that under the eye just to kind of like lay out a foundation wash of color and this isn't really gonna show up but when you layer it just looks so much better 
And once again, because we are using blushes, they're not as pigmented as eyeshadows, which makes application a lot easier. So if you're starting with makeup and you're worried about going too heavy, again, try those techniques I just talked about, but blushes, you just don't go as heavy. So I'm gonna go ahead and go into now the real eyeshadow palette that I do not recommend. If you have another lilac, definitely use that, but I'm going to go into this shade right here and a little bit of this shade, and that's what we're gonna work under the eye. So for some reason, these stick under the eye pretty well, but when I was trying to apply them onto my actual lid, when I blended them away, they literally blended into absolutely nothing and they were horrible and I was getting so angry. My eyes were angry at me. They were red and watery, so that was not good. But I'm gonna take this all the way in. And I'm not being extremely careful by keeping this like too close to the lash line, but I am gonna kinda do like a little flick so it's kinda carries up into like a mini wing, but not really. It's just got a little like flick Thing that just looks pretty. I don't know about you guys, but we finally have spring weather in Chicago today. It's Sunday and it's like 54 degrees and it's so nice. I took George out for a walk. We went like six blocks. He's a French Bulldog if you're new to my channel and like he was panting at the end of it and I was like, dude, it is only 54 degrees. It's gonna get so much warmer in here, in here, out here, so. Brace yourself, buddy. I think I brought this one down a little farther, so I'm just gonna bring this one down a little bit more. And then just with the Morphe, again, just kinda like blend everything out on the edges. All right, so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this Revlon Colorstay in the shade 705. It's just like, kind of like a paint pot type of deal. And this is what I'm gonna put in the inner corner. I like these things, and once again, I totally forgot I had these. And this just kind of like highlights the inner corner really pretty. So I'll show you what I'm gonna do first. Oops, that was a little too close to the inner corner. First, I'm gonna kind of work it up here. And then I'm going to take a fluffy brush. This is a MAC 222. It's just a little more pointed of a puff, fluffy brush. And I'm gonna dip into this color right here in that same blush palette. It kind of has like the same color here, like a reflective purple tone to it. It's really pretty. And throw that right there. I'm even gonna take a little bit, and I mean a little bit, of the yellow highlight that I was talking about and take that right on the brow bone. Really minimally, if you have hooded eyes though, like you could see how tight I'm keeping that. You don't wanna like highlight the hood. Then I'm just gonna take a fluffy brush with nothing on it and blend it. I'm gonna go ahead and take a nude liner like I did on this eye, apply that, and then apply a couple coats of mascara. I'm using the Too Faced Better Than Sex on the upper lashes, and then the Maybelline Lash Discovery on the bottom lashes. So I'll do that, and then I'll meet you back here. All right, you guys, and this is the completed look. I am loving this. I think this is super, super spring. It makes me super happy. It's nice and light, and it is super easy. You honestly do not need to even go in with the lid lingerie. You can go right in with your blush. Just take your concealer, apply a nice coat so like it has something to stick to, and so it'll like pop a little bit more. Like I said, since blushes are a little more sheer, that's why I like to put like a little base under it to help it pop, but it's not even necessary. And everybody has a blush laying around. You could take your contour color, throw that in the crease, and you're ready to go. Throw any color under the eye. I'm not a person who really likes to apply pinks, like straight up pinks under my eyes, because it just makes me look a little bit sickly. So yeah, all you really need is what's already probably in your makeup kit, so super easy. Honestly, I did this eye obviously to start. It took me about five minutes to get everything on. So I just thought it would be helpful to remind you guys like makeup doesn't have to be all about like cut creases, 30 minute blending, uh, 18,000 colors on your eye. You know, not everybody has time to do that every day and you can get just as stunning of a look with 
minimal, minimal products. So I hope this was helpful to some of you. Let me know if you guys have any questions below. Let me know if you guys are finally having spring weather. I feel like it's making me so much more happy and I want to be outside. Otherwise, thank you so much for spending some time with me today. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. It means the world to me and I hope to see you on the next one. Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.